Racing Line, the show where we talk about everything from the Formula 1 world, including real life and gaming. We are Tom, Dirk and Hayden, and today we got for you the race reaction from the Mexican Grand Prix, the debrief of F1 Esports Event 3, and a brand new challenge, a different one. Now, let's start with the race reaction. Last time out, guys, we had the Mexican Grand Prix, which has just gone by, and it was an interesting race. I wouldn't say an exciting race, but an interesting run, uh, race nonetheless. But uh, a Max Verstappen win once again. We thought that there was a possibility, maybe, of Lewis Hamilton uh, getting his first win of the season, but wasn't the case. Um, some scrappy battlings ha happening from Ricardo, um, though I would say, probably for me, his best race of the season watching his onboard he was having an absolutely brilliant time on those on those softs but the 10 second penalty causing issues um but for me one of the best races of the season boys what did you think i mean ricardo just give him a penalty and he actually drives really really <laughs> fast so that's what yeah. he needs from now on to have some great results it was a bit of a slow race nothing really went on i was depressed because lewis hamilton again still waiting that one win of the season just want one i just want one for the record max has happened now yeah. most Winning driver in a season. True. Love to see that. You've got it. Yeah. We just have one for Lewis Hamilton, please. please. Yeah. Also saw Papa Perez back out in full force, just rooting for his boy, <laughs> which is the most beautiful sign. It's like sight, sorry. Last year had the same thing. This year seeing it again. It's just it's just an iconic moment in Mexico now. It just has to be every single year. It's probably my favorite moment actually of the race. Uh, uh, Perez's dad being so happy in the uh, after the race. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome to see. And also Ricardo getting uh, a penalty and then driver of the day. I think his only driver of the day this year, and maybe also his only penalty. So <laughs> maybe he should get penalties more often. Um, yeah. For me, what was most interesting was um, it might have not been the race itself, but just. To the strategy all the way throughout you saw like some drivers pitting less but also the fight for the championship because we're nearing the end now we only have two races remaining and we have the fight for p4 with of course one of the alpines unfortunately retiring uh, alonso once again um which is super close there's only like five or seven points in between and then of course the fight for p6 with four teams who could still get p6 so i mean what do you think who is going to be on top for that fight, fight for P4, and who do you think is going to be on top for P6? Well, with Alpine's reliability issues they've had recently, I don't, I don't think they're looking good, bro. I'll be honest with you, and I know <laughs> you're not going to be happy about hearing that, but he I'm is not... a consistent thing at this point. And you know, Ricardo is now looking like he's, he's in good form, um, so hopefully he carries on to the end of the season. Amazing that he's, ret he's not retiring, but losing a seat. So I think McLaren are going to be in good shape coming uh, coming towards the last two races. But up next is the eSports report. It's eSports report time and what an event free we had. Three incredible races at Italy, Mexico and USA. So much to talk about it. But first of all, going into the final event, we now have a five. Um, that's right. Five way Drivers Championship fight. Blakely, Ron Ha, Boromund, Rasmussen, and the two-time reigning champion, Jano Otmit, all Who in a fight thought? for it. Who would have thought that going into, into Mexico only two races ago? Boys, what was your favorite part from Event 3? For me, personally, it was the drama between Ron Ha and Rasmussen. It was incredible. I don't think we've ever seen that in F1 Esports. We always talk about these drivers being aliens and being on the limit every single time, but finally seeing a little bit of human element come into it a mistake a little bit of aggression come from from rasmussen and uh yeah so much drama came from that and he obviously he got penalized so we don't have to say whether you know it was a right penalty or or, or not or anything like that but he got penalized he came back in uh, in usa and got a really strong result still but tom what was your favorite moment from event, event three I mean, for, for me, myself, and I actually didn't even, like, I was still thinking about this moment the next day when I woke up. That was the last lap at Austin. I'm sure everyone is is, is agreeing with me on this one. But I, I would say that moment that you, you called up on was, uh, was a lot of, I mean, it was crazy, right? Spicy, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was spicy, <laughs> and I'm still thinking about it as well. But, um, yeah, I, I would say, like, this was probably one of the best events ever in F1 Esports. I mean, it's very recent still, I know, but it was just chaos. It was entertainment all over the place. And I would say, like, if it continues like this, my goodness, this last event that we're going into, 
with five drivers fighting for the lead. I I'm not gonna... <sighs> Lucas Blakely is gonna have a tough job here, especially because he didn't really have the best of um, events here. He was like running around P5, P6, P7, while Jarno Opmeer won twice after what I thought was the end of his season. He said, this is the last and final chance that I'm gonna have to fight back. And uh, I mean, he kind of did. But what do you think, <laughs> Dirk? Is, 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 is Jarno gonna be able to come back here now currently having 22 points to the lead? Is he gonna be able to win this championship still? I'm... I, I don't think so. I wouldn't rule no. him out, but I don't think so. Come Maybe, on, fire him up there, come on. <laughs> listen, he's, the first two events, he wasn't exactly up there, was he? And then this event, he was, but like, as I know it's, you engineer your own life, let's, let's be honest, you are, yep. you have to be in the right place at the right time, doing the right things to, to, get, to get lucky a little bit, especially in F1 Esports, but in Kota, that last five car battle was crazy. And like you saw, um, Thomas and uh, I think it was Barry that were battling in that last lap. And then they went all the way to the left. He was still on the racing line. They pushed each other off the track and he managed to nab them both and do the double overtake to then get the win. And that, I'm like, it's a bit lucky. But at the same time, he did all the right things to make sure he was in the right position. But yep. if he, he has to have that. I don't think he's got the raw pace of um, that that we're seeing from Ron Har and, and Barry and uh, Freddie. Like these guys are just racing on like on crazy levels at the moment. He's just not up there on raw pace. But in terms of decision making, maybe he could do it. But um, we'll see. I think we're gonna see a great last couple of battles, like last few races between Lucas, um, Freddie, and um, Thomas Ron Har. But like. I said at the start of the season, just keep an eye on Tom mm -hmm. Fronhart, and he like, he would, he will be someone to keep an eye on, and it's, it's, he's just delivered in every level. Is he your favorite for the championship? Uh, Freddie is my favorite for the championship. Um, reason being is I think he's he's just an absolute alien of a driver, but Ron Hart is driving absolutely incredibly as well. But uh, Barry is also having probably the best season that he's ever drove in F1 Esports. So I, I don't know. No. My favorite to win it is Freddy. Uh, biased opinion, I'll, I'll be honest. I, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time with him recently and I just find him <laughs> very interesting. So it's a bit of a biased opinion, but um, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. What about you, Tom? Who's your favorite? Who's your pick out of the top five? <sighs> I'm saying Ron Har. Um, I mean, it would be such an amazing story for him to come into F1 Esports for the very first time and, and I mean, as a rookie, to win the championship. Currently 11 points behind of Lucas Blakely, who hasn't really performed this event. So I could see him perhaps dropping back. It depends a little bit. Uh, he might be able to find back his pace that he's had in F F1 Esports event 2 and 1 um, and, and fight for that last event. He he'll need to, right? He'll need to to keep that P1. But uh, I'm calling Ron Hart just because I think it would be such an amazing what a story. story. What an absolute yep. story. I want to go for Lucas Blakely also for the story because yep. he didn't make it. He got to the challenges, got to the pro draft, didn't make it. Next year, True. comes in through the pro draft, has an okay season. Next year, he's starting to fight for the championship. And then again, fighting for the championship. If he can finally win it, story complete for Lucas Blakely. And what a lovely guy. Lucas Blakely is so I would love to see him uh, win that championship but that will all conclude event four on the 14th 15th and 16th of November we are racing at Japan uh, Brazil and then Abu Dhabi for the finale. So make sure you tune in. Five-way Drivers' Championship fight. Uh, McLaren are currently running away with it. They are a 101 points clear in the Constructors. But if you <laughs> want to watch that incredible driver Championship fight, tune in 14th, 15th and 16th. The Brazilian Grand Prix is happening this weekend, so we try to challenge you uh, here to beat our hot lap around Brazil. Uh, today, actually, we're doing something different because we're going to be driving in the Mercedes safety car in the wet. Brazil, obviously known to be wet very often, so we're going to do it. If you think you can beat us, put your lap in and submit it through hashtag the racing line on social media. Uh, Marcus actually won the previous one. Well done to you. Uh, but if you think you can do better, then uh, be our guest and try and beat us. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brazilian Grand Prix in the AMG safety car, in the wet as well. So it's going to be very tough today, but we're going to try and break all out for the first turn. Actually, look up a little bit, pop the drift in. Are we breaking too late or too early? Too late! Look at that, so wide! 
We're so bad. Let's drift it through turn two if we can. Because I want to slide it around a little bit and let it let it loose. But try and stay within the track limits. Now, into the next one. We break all out um, at around the 150 meter board. Try and not go too deep. Try and stay close to the inside. A little bit of a drifty drift. And then straight away all the power once again. The car just snaps on you so much. But you know what? It's a lot of fun, in all fairness. Driving this in the wet. Oh, that's too late, isn't it? Or well, maybe it's not. Get round, car. And then again, just going to use the rear to get around the corner. Third gear here. Drift the car into the turn, and we almost come to a stop. But we're still doing quite decent. Just keep the car drifting, 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 drifting. In the third gear into four. Yes! There we go. Now we got to go right. On the brakes again. Into third. Throttle it. Round we go. My name's Ken Block at this point. I am absolutely killing this lap. Fourth gear. Sideways. Almost. Yep, sideways. Uh. Break hard though for the last and final turn. Back into second. Initiate the drift. And then one last straight. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be the one. We're a little bit wide there, but that's fine. Down to the line. What is the lap time going to be good enough for here in Brazil? It is a 154.8. Crossing the line with a... 152.4. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be a P1. 100%. 100%. Around the Brazilian track. Put your lap in. If you want to stay up to date with everything Formula One game and the racing line, then make sure you follow at Formula One game on social media and subscribe to the channel. But from all of us today, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the grand finale of the racing line in the next episode. Peace out.